Hi, my name is Robert Levy, and today I'm going to talk about a um, tip for Revit. So, when you are detailing in Revit, um, what tends to happen is if you open up a project that maybe you haven't worked on in a while, or let's say you open up a project that somebody else worked on, and you have to detail on that, um, a lot of times you do not know whether uh, parts of the of that detail are part of the model or whether they are part of just regular detail lines 2d geometry and if you know anything about Revit then you know that if you move a wall by accident not knowing that it's actually gonna move the wall it's gonna, it might affect the project quite a bit and um, you might have not intended to do that and so again it, it all goes back to the fact that when you look at a detail in Revit you cannot tell uh, a lot of times what has been modeled in like this roof versus uh, detail lines which have been drawn in like the line that I'm drawing in right now and so to distinguish those two things okay uh, a very easy way to do this is let's say I'm fresh and I've never seen this detail before and I just have to make some changes to it uh, with for me not to mess up the model accidentally I could go into my view properties okay and for display model I can set that to halftone and you'll notice that anything that's been modeled is going to be in gray halftone and look at that it makes the uh, detail lines stand out in black see that see those detail lines and to go further with that concept I could say alright well I want to know exactly what's part of my model and what's not so let's change the display model setting to do not display okay so I'm gonna set it to do not display and now it becomes very clear um, that most of what I'm looking at is 2D line work now granted you have grid lines you have um, view sections uh, details okay basically call outs and things like that but in essence you also have all of your line work that is 2d and this line work is safe if you delete it or you do something with it and you know you're not going to be affecting the model in a negative way or you know, unintentionally so uh, once you're aware of what's going on uh, what you could do is um, you can also pin your modeled elements and so let's say I'm working in this model and I don't want to accidentally mess up uh, any of these windows or walls and I could just pin them down and um, once I pin them down uh, what I could do is I could go here to this little icon that says right down here it says select pinned elements and if I click on that icon and make it so that it has a little X on it, okay, a little red X, that means I cannot select pinned elements. So if you notice here, when I run my cursor through these um, walls and this roof, because I pinned them, I can't select them. So it won't even highlight the roof and it won't highlight the wall, which is really nice because you're not going to accidentally select those when you move around your detailed elements and things like that it's it's more of a drafting oriented thing where you won't accidentally move things that weren't supposed to be moved so hopefully you found uh, these couple of tips to be useful thank you